Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to create, share and install Tana templates. Tana just launched its template feature, which makes it really easy to collect connected super tags, put them together in one place and share them with others. In this video I'm going to show you how that works. The first template I want to share with you is my Para template, which is based on Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. And Para stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up such a template. Um, but first, I'm going to show you how to install the one that I have so you can actually save the time and don't have to do it manually. But then we're going to go through step by step how to set it up yourself and then how to share it with others. So let's actually start by installing the Para template, which is linked down below this video. And then we're going to take it from there. So if you click the link below this video that takes you to the template or you copied it and pasted it like I'm doing here into the search bar of my browser, what's going to happen is Tana is going to reload and you get this sort of screen which shows you how many super tags, how many fields and how many search nodes are contained in the template. And if you then check um, add to home, this template gets added to your home node, right? So I'm right here um, and you see direct be directly below the calendar, um, I now have the power template um, indented. This is the welcome screen that you see. Um, and the instructions here show you how to set it up really quickly. The template comes uh, pre-configured, so there's nothing you need to configure yourself. All you need to do for this particular template is drag and drop these live searches into your sidebar, into your home node, and you're ready to go. So that's super simple. And then the template contains uh, super tags, field searches, all the setup is in this tab. And then we have a documentation tab where I explain all the super tags in detail, further resources, reading on Tiago's material, um, and then a little demo. Also included are a couple of videos um, that uh, guide you through that setup process, um, but that's the contents of the template as a quick overview. One important thing that you want to keep in mind is that for this template to work, you need to have semantic field functions enabled. Those are currently still part of Tana Labs. So um, to have that um, enabled, what you need to do is you go here to the settings and then to Tana Labs and then enable semantic functions for fields. Um, that's really important to link everything um, together that is contained in this template, um, makes it really powerful. Hopefully, eventually, um, this becomes a full Tana feature, not um, in labs, but um, right now, as I'm launching uh, this template, you want to enable that function. Now let's walk through how this uh, template works and all the features um, you have. As you know, if you're familiar with um, the Para methodology, you have uh, projects, areas, resources, and archives. Um, areas are um, spheres of activity uh, with a standard to be maintained over time, is how Tiago puts it. Um, and so one example for me uh, would be Cortex Futura as like a thing um, that I'm part of, then family, and then my day job, for example. And inside each area, you work towards goals, right? Um, you have goals for that area. Um, and these are implemented as a super tag here. And then we have, of course, projects and projects have tasks, right? You get things done. Um, and these projects are projects that work towards a goal. Um, and kind of as a side uh, entity that you have here are resources, right? And resources are topics or themes of ongoing interest. Tana would be one for me, for example. And so that's everything we have implemented here. What we don't have implemented in the strict sense in how Para was usually implemented in like a file folder structure is archives, right? We don't have an archive super tag. What we have instead is live searches and a status for uh, resources and areas that make it easy to collect things that aren't uh, important right now. Now, 
let's actually look into these things in practice and see how things work. So let me jump over to the demo tab here. And you see here, I have tagged a node with um, a cortex utera as an area, right? And here you see the para status. And this is kind of what determines whether something is archived or not, right? I set uh, it to active or inactive, and then it shows up or doesn't show up in the active um, parts of my live searches, which we're going to get to. What's also really neat about Tana is that you have these live searches that can be part of a super tag, right? So here we have, for example, a live search that looks at all the goals that are connected to um, Cortex, to the Cortex Futura area, right? Um, so one of the goals I have is make people more productive with Tana, right? Um, and so that shows up here, and I'm going to show you how that is configured on the goal side in, in just a second. And we also have a project dashboard that shows me all the active projects that are linked to the Cortex Futura area, right? And of course, I have um, a live search that shows me completed projects and things that I want to do someday or maybe um, connected to that area. So that's the area, right? That's kind of the overarching um, thing that connects most things in our uh, para system. Now, as I mentioned, we have uh, resources, of course, are part of the para system. Um, and resources also have a para status, active or inactive, right? And because uh, Tana has backlinks, of course, you see here in the uh, linked references at the bottom, you see it in where this resource actually also shows up, right? Um, in the demo here as a goal. And you can, of course, um, create live searches here as well if you want um, that connect different things that belong to a resource. Now, apart from resources, we have goals, as I mentioned and every goal belongs to an area, right? Um, and this area in this case for this goal is um, Cortex Futura. This field here is set up to be um, an instance field um, of the area super tag, and it has the semantic function part of, um, and that allows us to link everything that is linked here um, and that is part of the goal to then show up in the area. And I'm going to cover that in more detail in just a second. Um, and it's also auto initializing to an ancestor with this super tag. Now here in the dashboard for the goal, we have again, all the active projects that work towards that goal, right? Um, that's really important and very powerful. And then of course, uh, the completed projects as well. Then we have um, the projects themselves, right? Projects serve a goal. And this um, function here sets up that, and this field here sets up um, that the serves goal is a field type instance um, of the goal super tag. And again, has the semantic function of part of. And this is what allows us to do here in the area section to say, show me all the projects that are part of the Cortex Futura area, right? Because I have a goal um, that is part of the Cortex Futura area and this project is part of the goal. I can say here, okay, show me all the projects that belong to any goal that belong to the Cortex Futura area, right? And that's something that's really powerful in how Tana implements it. Now we of course have a project status. Um, so that works here um, as an option between uh, in the backlog, not currently active. Uh, something that I'm currently working on is in progress, uh, done is completed, dropped is something I'm not going to do. And someday maybe is something that is I'm not going to do soon, right? But something I'm considering doing, but it's not in the backlog that's going to be done soon. Now, what's really neat about Tana um, is that through title expressions, um, you can show the status kind of here as well. So let me show you how that is set up um, by going to build title from fuel. I have name, right? That is the launch Tenarian brain. 
um, project and then I have project status um, and the icon that belongs to it um, set up and that shows that little green button um, over here and the icon that belongs to it you see here that is indented that's a neat little trick and by having a field that has a value you can pull up the field value into the title expression that's very powerful um, all right so we have um, areas which have goals which have projects and of course projects have tasks with which you work towards something and these tasks also have um, that little status indicator um, they belong to a project and they have a task status the neat thing is that if I click this done um, you see the task status switches automatically to done and if I set it to in backlog that check mark is unset um, the same goes for something that is dropped for example right dropped um, tasks are also marked checked off um, but the default for checking off something is the done state and that's all there is to it basically right we're starting with areas we have projects we have resources we have tasks um, we have goals and everything is nicely collected uh, and connected uh, together now now what we have here on the side um, in the sidebar is the areas live search the projects live search um, goals resources and tasks right and that gives you a nice way of going okay I want to go there I want to go there um, everything is easily accessible in your sidebar and it's really and it's really easy to get everything that you need for a particular um, project for whatever you're working on uh, right now now what do you do if you have your own template that you want to share with the community um, luckily the process for getting templates to others is really easy the thing you want to start with is a new dedicated workspace though um, that is separate from where you usually work and the reason is that to publish a template, you need a published workspace. Um, and I'm going to switch to a different user account and I'm going to show you um, how that works. Now, what you see here is um, again, the template, but in a different uh, workspace, uh, one which um, already has um, access to the share as template feature, uh, since I'm recording this before this functionality actually goes live. So, if you want to share um, a template, what you need to do is you need to create a new workspace and click here and say my shared templates, for example, and then you click on create workspace. That's going to reload Tana. And then you have the workspace here. What you then want to do is focus into the name of the workspace, hit command K and say, um, publish read only my share templates and that's going to make it so that everything in that workspace is actually readable from outside right and um, that's really important to consider you shouldn't put anything um, sensitive in published workspaces that are accessible from outside and here then you can create a new template what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the para template here and then we're going to reshare it uh, from this workspace. So what I've done is I've copied all these different sections of the original uh, template into um, a new section called my cool template um, and I've edited a couple of things here and there and what I now can do is I can hit command K and then type share as template and that's going to give me um, again a list of all the super tags and search nodes and whatever and a copy link to template and this link I can then share with others and they can follow the same process that we did in the beginning and add this to their workspace now what's really important to consider here is that for a template to work everything you have 
in that template needs to live under the node that you share as a template. So what does that mean? I have here in the super tag sections, the core super tags. And you see here, these are not referenced in from my schema or from anywhere else. They need to live, right? Be physically in a way placed under the my cool template um, node here. They need to be owned by um, my cool template. So that is what we need to do, right? And that goes for fields and everything, for searches, whatever you use in your template. Um, this is mentioned here in the field section. This field lives here, right? Um, and that is really important because otherwise, um, if I move this to the schema, move to my shared templates um, and home, for example, and I now go to my cool template and share as template, you see your template includes external references. Um, and that means um, that this is not going to work very well when others um, use your template. So make sure that um, you have the fields and the super tags all indented, owned by the node that you want to share. But when you have that, that's it, right? As you see, um, put everything under the thing you want to share and then hit share and you can share it with others. They can install it and everything you have um, will be in their workspace as well. Of course, updates don't work, right? So if you update something in your template, um, that's not going to be automatically updated in everyone who has uh, copied your template. And that's a good thing, right? Because otherwise um, you use my um, uh, para template, I change something and suddenly everything you have looks weird and works differently than you expect, right? So that's just the way how templates work. Um, and I think that that makes sense and, and is a good thing. So um, with that, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. You enjoy um, the template that I have shared with you. Let me know on Twitter um, whether you like it. If you want it integrated into a advanced, super intricate uh, second brain setup, then check out Tenarian Brain, which is a full feature template. Um, also linked down below. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Um, and I hope you have fun exploring Tana templates. Have a good one. Bye bye.